I recently watched this video by Pete Johns, where he shows how to create new session players using Logic Pro's Studio Strings and Studio Horns. I'll link it down in the description, definitely go and give it a watch after you've watched this video. And it got me thinking, what other instruments could we use with Logic Pro's session players? Creating an acoustic guitar session player to demo how this works makes the most sense I think, and it's actually surprisingly simple. I'm starting off with the keyboard session player here as I can easily dial in different chords and voicings that suit an acoustic guitar sound well. To keep things really straightforward, I'll use one of Logic Pro's built-in guitar patches. In this case, if I open the browser with the session player track selected, go to instrument patches, and then use the filter to narrow down the options to guitar, an acoustic guitar patch is the first option that appears. I can either drag the patch over to the session player track header or tap the replace button then tap on the patch to load it. Even that sounds alright, though we will need to tweak a few things to make it sound a bit more like an actual guitar. The first thing I'll do is tap here and select Simple Pad from the menu. Remember to toggle this switch off if you plan to change patches, otherwise the session player will default to its original instrument. Then I'll use the keyboard session player's controls to change the range of notes that are played. The left and right hand voicing options kind of correspond to what your hands do when playing a guitar as well, though inverted, assuming that you're right-handed. I'll adjust the left hand voicing to root only, though some of these other options do provide a more full chord sound if that's what you're going for. and I'll adjust the right hand voicing. I do like how stacked sounds, but it plays back seven notes, which does sound maybe a little bit unnatural for an acoustic guitar. So I'll maybe just stick with the full chord option. Lastly, I'll increase the note length here as it kind of replicates the sustain you'd hear on an actual acoustic guitar. That's pretty much the basics of it really, though you can make it sound even better by applying things like a spring reverb in Space Designer for example, which is already applied on the acoustic guitar patch we loaded at the start. You can also add a bit of guitar specific EQ as well. or you can even add additional guitar session player tracks. I've added another DIY guitar session player track here and have it set up to be really quite similar to the first. I've panned the first track, Hard Left, and this new track, Hard Right. Because these are essentially MIDI, they sound almost exactly the same. To try and combat that, I've adjusted the intensity of each track and changed the note's start time of the second track just slightly, so that the notes don't hit at exactly the same time.
add in some other instruments and you can get quite a nice wee arrangement going. You can do this same thing with pretty much any of Logic Pro's built-in instruments with varying degrees of success. I find that a lot of the plucked instruments found in Logic Pro's stock sculpture synth work really well. You can create a great sounding harp session player for example. clean electric guitar session player or even a vibraphone session player. And there are loads more amazing sounds in here and in Logic's other stock instruments to experiment with. Let me know if you plan to create your own DIY session players down in the comments and if you could give that like button a good hard slap on the way past, I really appreciate it and it helps more people see this video. Not only did Apple add two new session players in the most recent update, they also gave the existing drummer session player a massive upgrade.